you welcome to the structural guide youtube channel we are going to discuss about when to start curing of concrete please subscribe our youtube channel you may get the notification on new video let's see when to start curing of concrete what is curing of concrete why we do curing of concrete that we want to know before discussing the starting type of the curing we do curing of concrete to maintain the surface moisture level reduce the concrete temperature increase the concrete temperature maintain the concrete temperature gradient maintain the concrete temperature difference so these are the things or these are the factors or these are the reasons we do the curing of concrete so if we briefly discuss about these things maintain the surface moisture now uh, once you pour the concrete when it if it is get dried concrete surface the concrete surface get dried there won't be adequate moisture moisture in the concrete surface to react with the cement if no adequate moisture the reaction will be incomplete then the cover stone will be weak then there will be durable tissues in the concrete therefore we have to do the curing we have to apply the adequate water over the we have to maintain the moisture level of the concrete surface other than uh, by other method even you can use other than adding the water then the reduce the concrete temperature this is the most important thing for the thicker concrete as you can hear here you can see the very thick concrete is there this one also very thick concrete these kind of a thick concretes we use high grade concrete also so with that the core temperature will be increased So as a general norm, we maintain it's about seventy degrees. If the if the in, it's increase beyond that point, the there is there is a chance of forming delay detrin guide. Formation of delay detrin guides could cause the cracking of the concrete. These delay detrin guides increase the internal volume and then cause cracking of the concrete. Then. we have to maintain the temperature gradients also in this kind of focus temperature gradient means the temperature difference per meter length that is the temperature drop per meter length from the core and also we have to maintain the temperature difference that is the temperature difference between core and the surface those two things also we have to maintain that also maintained by the curing thick concrete we don't use water curing and we use special type curing methods so we we have discussed these things in a different video you may refer to that video for further information on curing but we have to maintain these things during the curing so this we do as a curing precautions to protect the concrete against cracking one one more important thing is the some of the cases we have to increase the temperature of concrete now if we do the concrete in the cold weather we have to increase the concrete temperature otherwise this hydration reaction will be not that efficiently happen that cause reduction in the strength of the concrete if we increase the temperature of concrete this process will be speed up and it will complete therefore we have to keep in mind curing is not just not just putting water on the concrete surface there are other things that we do by the curing how long it does take concrete surface to dry this is the most important thing to decide when to start curing of concrete it's depend on the moisture of the concrete it's depend on the temperature of the concrete and also temperature of the atmosphere ambient temperature humidity win mix design so if we start with the first point moisture in the concrete we discussed previously also we have to maintain the moisture level by the curing so if adequate moisture is in the concrete we may not need to start concrete immediately then ambient temperature if it is very dry environment or the concrete surface fit get dry very fast then we have to do curing at at early stages humidity humidity is also significantly affect so it's affect the evaporation of the concrete 
evolution of water from the concrete surface wind if the if there is a very if there is very high wind is there wind will uh, wind will remove the surface moisture very fast then mix design depending on the mix design the content of the water will be vary so the water can higher the water content in the uh, surface then there may be adequate water to react so especially when we use the water reducing admixtures we may add less water so these kind of situations we have to be careful it doesn't mean there is no adequate water to complete the hydration process but less water less risk so if if we should not let the surface dry therefore uh, we have to we have to be careful on these factors when designing deciding on the time of curing so most important question when to start curing so if we give the perfect answer that is you should do the curing immediately after concrete start dry so it's very difficult when to decide concrete surface get in dry but once you pour the concrete once you level the concrete it may start getting dry in that point or not we have to do the curing if you do the concrete in the night time the delay may be there because of the humidity and the no sunlight the evaporation will be very less in a such a situation you may take time to start the curing but if you do the concrete in the day time in the direct sunlight under high wind and uh, less humidity in those situations the curing have to be started immediately otherwise concrete surface will get dry and also the sinkage crack will appear dry sinkage concrete surface will get dry then cracking may be again the concrete surface in addition now uh, as i explained previously the concrete core temperature we have to maintain at a certain level in general say it's about 70 this may even go up to 80 but it's depend but as a general norm we plan to keep say we plan to keep it at 70 degrees in a such situations also now if we have done a mock up test we know when this concrete reach to 65 or 70 Uh, during mock up test we we have this date during mock up test we examine those data and we plot the temperature variation on the concrete uh, block we cast similar to the main structure that block may be 2 meter by 2 meter concrete block or uh, or similar size of the element that we are going to do the curing so when the concrete temperature rise like within first day within a day so after 24 hours it reaches its peak so that data we have early with that if you have a thick concrete if you have place pipes to cool the concrete those can be started based on those data that uh, heat reducing or heat absorbing method will do based on the mock up test the starting point can be decide because uh, we should maintain the concrete temperature at a certain level we should not lower it as you wish there are certain limitations the requirement is we should not let the concrete getting temperature getting more than 70 degrees so if you if you be within that limit or if it is less say it's about 60 degrees we have no issue so we can do the we can maintain that temperature continuously if we can maintain that con- con- concrete temperature continuously there is won't be issue so likewise uh, the curing shall be started immediately in some cases now when when you read to reduce the temperature we can start it with some time some delay so that with that we end the today's discussions so thank you very much for watching our videos let's meet from another video thank you